Welcome back to this very special Halloween episode of New Day Northwest. And I'm sure you are all simply bombulating with anticipation about what is next. Well, an astonishing round of hot topics, of course. And we have the rest of the Rose family here present. Of course, my other half, Johnny, here joining me now. Hello, dear. He's Hi, also known as Don. Terry Holloman in the real world. My dazzling daughter, Alexis, also known as producer Rebecca Perry. And my dear Bebe, David, who also bears a remarkable resemblance to our executive producer, Joseph Sutner, which is kind of how this whole idea started. Oh, is it? So cheers to you all with some delicious fruit wine I picked up from Herb Erfle Herb uh, Herb Erflingers. Oh, it's a, mm. <laughs> Herb what, what was that, Mom? Herb uh, Wine Blurgers. Uh, but, mm. Let's give it a taste. I've never had fruit wine. It is surprisingly more delicious than you might think. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. That's actually not bad. Mm. And, uh, that actually tastes like fruit punch mixed with <laughs> sparkling wow. cider and rubbing alcohol. It has a bit of a aftertaste. I have to say that scene from the show with the fruit wine commercial is probably the funniest moment for me from the entire show. So when we were coming up with this show, I was like, we have to somehow work that in. It's so and funny. I, it is, it is hilarious. And as anyone who's drank and drank, drank and mm -hmm. imbibed on fruit wine will know that it does not always end well. A lot of oh. high sugar content. Is that so? Yeah. No. Isn't all Careful wine Alexis. fruit wine, though, really, if you I, think about it? Really, but. truly. But I don't believe most <laughs> vintners would describe their varietals as uh, fruit wine. Not fruit wine. good for the yes, diabetes, yes. dear. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Indeed. So if you all haven't seen the show that we are emulating today, you really mm. must. It is hilarious. Uh. Why do you think we all love this sitcom so much? Just, I love that it's about love and just accepting people for who they are, not making a big deal out of people who are different than you. I just think that is such a message that we need these days. And I have to say for me personally, like seeing David on TV, I have never related to a TV character as much as that in like my 33 years of living. So, oh, yeah. that is That's true. I mean, it's, it's true. I mean, it is. And it's interesting because I do. I will say that I did immediately think of you when I started watching that show. Yes. Well. This Absolutely. was, to be clear, this was Amity's idea, this whole thing. <laughs> so she had a vision for it. I did. I actually, I just said we should dress up like this. And then, and then David took it to the next level as he does. With the I, uh, I started watching it like at the very early days of the pandemic. So it kind of just reminds me of that mm. time when we were all hunkered down. And mm. I remember the very first episode made me super claustrophobic. I almost couldn't get through I it. I felt the I same. I almost stopped watching it, but I had heard so many good things about it that I just kind of kept going through. And so like, it just reminds me of sitting on the couch uh -huh. with my husband, like, claustrophobic not have, is a good you know, word. there was nothing to do except to watch these characters. And I also love that they're like, multi-dimensional people. Mm -hmm. I mean, this show could very well have gone in a different direction. Totally. But each of these characters is like really sweet in a way, and I really appreciate that. Well, instead of dripping with ennui, as they say, it was just positively effervescent. Mm. <laughs> Definitely. I loved it. Definitely was. Well, I hope you all like our costumes, but have you seen the different renditions of these new Spirit Halloween costumes? Oh <laughs> where it's this thing on the interwebs. Meme. Where essentially you kind of either That's you know so good. use a picture of yourself or, or something of that nature, you and, make fun of. and you make fun of. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is a um, hiker Unprepared not prepared hiker. <laughs> for the winter time and the snow. That would be me. That would be me in the flesh. <laughs> I go out in the winter time with no no shoes, no socks, Harry. and no sh no jacket. Well, the Washington Department of Natural Resources urges you not to do that. Who was right, the clever? Right organization that put out that funny little name. I love that. Uh, I saw another one that was really, really funny, but I won't share it on TV because it's oh, not appropriate. Maybe not appropriate? Okay. <laughs> Most probes. of them are not appropriate. It's so. not appropriate, but go do check it out. It, they're funny. I also love like the um, simplicity of like the, you buy these costumes, they're like 50 bucks and you get like a stitched together yellow t-shirt and blue shorts and like maybe a, a pair of sunglasses. It's like truly. Really? <laughs> yeah. So true. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, speaking of the interwebs and the Twitter, oh, did boy. you all see that Elon Musk tweet after he officially bought the Twitter machine? I didn't, know we were, I didn't know we were getting dad jokes with new Twitter, but we are apparently. Entering Twitter HQ, let that sink in. I don't get it. He's carrying a sink. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes, yes. No, I expect much more of that. Y you do, really do? Do, do you? you? But do you, honestly, though? <laughs> I mean, uh, he is a genius. <laughs> I mean, despite the fact, no matter what you want to say about him, the man has, has been, you know, smart about many things. He's been successful. Yeah. Uh, some would say somewhat lucky. Yes. Somewhat mm. fortunate. Uh, uh, we're going to see what happens with this whole control of Twitter things. I don't mm -hmm. know. He reminds me of like the evil villain on some kind of show, <laughs> like an evil mastermind <laughs> that is going to do something dastardly and the, the moon is going to explode. Well, I will $1 say. Million dollars. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will say him saying he's just going to open it up and not have people blocked. I mean, I'm sorry, but there is a level of yeah. unacceptability when you're talking about people who are not, who are being intolerant, who are, who yep. are inciting being racist. anger. Let's and being just be racist. real. Some people need to be blocked. Mm -hmm. Like, some people don't need to have access to everything. Yep. Like, so I don't need access to a race car. Why do I need a race car? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm probably going to crash into something. Some people don't need to have access to the Twitter. So don't, very, don't open it up to everybody. I kind of agree with you very there. Curious. That's a very, very, very good point. He said so much stuff leading up to buying mm. Twitter. I'm curious to see what actually happens. It's really easy to say you're going to do all these things, but once you're actually put in the hot seat of in charge of something, things change a lot. Like this morning, Rebecca and I, Alexis and I, were talking about how there's a rumor that he might start charging people who have the blue verified check mark to pay like five bucks a month to keep their verification. So Amity, you know, mm. are you going to start paying five bucks to keep that? That is absolutely not. I know. Problem. I think that's a bridge too far. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I just hope that he has some really intelligent people around him yes. that could potentially rein him in. Well, he has been successful because of that very plan. So we'll see. We'll see. Meantime, on to nicer news. Yeah. Rihanna released her new song, Lift Me Up for Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit slower. Do we like it? I loved it. I loved it. It's, it reminded me of something I'm going to sing to my children. Bebe? My bebe. My bebe. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I actually think it's appropriate considering what has happened with this entire mm -hmm. series, you know. Losing Chad with Bozeman mm -hmm. um, unexpectedly, and now there's going to be a new uh, Black Panther. So I think it's appropriate. And of course, it's Rihanna. What can, she can't do no wrong. She can do no wrong. I think some people were surprised. It's been like six years since she released a new like mm -hmm. song of her own. So we were thinking it might be more of a bop. But it's much slower. But I actually really liked it. You really hear the tone of her voice. It's so beautiful. And I... I'm so excited to see her in the Super Bowl, if I'm going to be honest. Oh my God. I am yeah. very excited. But I definitely think I can hear the mother in her. Mm -hmm. Totally. Mm -hmm. Awakened, if yeah. you will. Oh, All right. Yes. Final topic, dating. Oh, boy. Hmm. <laughs> According to Dating.com, this latest survey found 67% of singles were so haunted by the following dating don'ts, they admitted to ghosting their match altogether. Here they go. 41% thought their match talked too much about their ex-partners. Mm -hmm. No, no. 60% mm -hmm. were turned off by their date being late. Well, that would rule me out. 28% <laughs> caught their dates checking out other people in the room as if. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Do you all have any dating horror stories? Mm, not, not too much. I, my Patrick is pretty good, so I'm, I'm good in real mm, life. Yeah. You, and you met are you very young. Yes, yeah. I have it some. happens. I haven't dated since the Stone Ages, so <laughs> I don't know. The last time, yeah, the last time I was dating, yeah. the dinosaurs were roaming. And ghosting wasn't a thing, I don't think. Oh, what? ghosting has always been a thing, my <laughs> dear. <laughs> um, Moira, I think no one's ever ghosted me. So. <laughs> It was easier to ghost back in the day, I think it would be, right? Like you could Well, just... I mean, I have to say, you just let the answering machine pick it up. <laughs> just let the answering machine pick it up. It's fine. I, I will say this. A couple of dating horror stories. You know, dating in a small town is the worst. I was out on a date with a young gentleman. You're telling me. When my boyfriend came, and he didn't know that I was dating other young gentlemen. So <laughs> it got very tense there at the Barnes & Noble in Santa Barbara. But... Everything worked out in the end. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with looking at other people while you're on a date. Sometimes you like to browse. Oh, okay. okay. New. That's, a, that's a hot take. New. I browse. Sometimes. That is a hot take. All right. <laughs>